Wondershare for more for noobs. If you right select your video, you may think that this option may help you to ease in or ease out your keyframes faster. But do you realize that you have to click each keyframe three times to ease it in properly? And that means six times if you have two keyframes. And if you have more than that, you may not be able to finish your project in time. Now, here is what you must do. Right select any of the keyframes then go to this option right here, which is called select all keyframes. Once all keyframes are selected, right select again and go to the option of Bezier curve. You can choose either continuous curve or ease out to affect all the selected keyframes at once. And by the end of each project, you'll have saved hours. That's my favorite subscribe. Wondershare for more for noobs. These are the most outdated editing tips that you should stop following. Part one. For you to add effects on your titles, you are supposed to put a green screen on your titles and then export this so that you can import it again. Now you have your titles in a video form, which allows you to go to chroma key and remove the green background. And then after that, you can go to the effects and add effects. But that's a lot of work. Right select your titles in the timeline and then use this option right here, which is a compound clip. Once you have turned your titles into a compound clip, this is going to allow you to add nice effects onto a compound clip, and those effects are going to affect your titles in a very impressive way. Wondershare Filmora for noobs. These are the most outdated editing tips that you should stop following. Part two. For you to zoom in your video clip in Filmora, you were supposed to select Alt and C on your keyboard in order to open the crop and zoom window. Once you are here, you are supposed to go on the pan and zoom and make sure that you put the difference between the start and the end. If you were zooming in, the end was supposed to be small, but if you're zooming out, vice versa. But guess what? That is not the most effective way of zooming in your clip. Instead of doing that, select your video in the timeline and then press Alt and K to add a keyframe. And then after a few frames, you can just increase the scale the way you want. The reason why this is the most effective way of zooming in your clips is you have the keyframing panel that allows you to make the zooming animation even smoother. Wonder Chef and Mora for noobs. Hey bro, be honest. Do you even understand the difference between all these curve options here? Well, this is Phil Morris keyframing panel, but allows you to ease in and ease out your keyframes. Now, if you do nothing on your keyframing panel, the animation is as boring as this. Also, if you use this linear option right here, nothing changes. But if you use the curve option right here, you're gonna see a nice zooming effect. And this is actually four long keyframes. But if you use the freeze option here, this is what you're going to get, which is least likely to be used. For close keyframes, you must use the combination of ease out and ease in. But let's say you have a lot of keyframes and you want that smooth zoom effect just like this short video that you're watching right now. Select all your keyframes and use this option right here, which is the continuous curve. That's my favorite. Subscribe. That's my favorite. Subscribe.